everyone, welcome to the T4 show here on YouTube. In today's screencast, we're going to be taking a look at something that probably many MacBook Air owners are familiar with, such as myself. But also, it's not just limited to them. Uh, it's also for MacBook owners, MacBook Pro owners, and iMac users. And the, the trick we're going to do today involves people that have very large iTunes libraries. If your iTunes library is filled up with movies, podcasts, and tons of music, then you know what I mean. Every time you buy a movie, buy a song, buy an album, download podcasts, your iTunes library just seems to grow. And some people are running out of room on their hard drives, especially people who have laptops like MacBook Air owners. Well, there's a cool little trick that you can do to point your iTunes library to an external hard drive. And I'm going to show you how to do that today. First of all, what you want to do is open up iTunes. Okay, now you go iTunes up here in the menu bar to preferences. Then you want to go into the advanced tab. Now you see general down here, it says iTunes music folder location. Uh, right now you can see that's pointed to my internal hard drive on my Mac Pro. So you can change that and point it somewhere else, but I just want to show you where it's pointing right now. And I'm going to cancel out of that. Now, what you want to do from here is you want to find three specific files uh, in your hard drive and you want to go through your hard drive to your user folder then the music folder then the iTunes folder now you can see there's three to or six different things here but you only want to pick three the three do you want to pick is the iTunes music folder album artwork folder album artwork folder I'll say that right and iTunes music library XML file and basically what you want to do is you see how I have an external hard drive up here. That's my backup drive, so I'm not going to do it. But I'm going to kind of pretend that you drag all these stuff. You drag your mouse over that. It highlights all three. Then you can just drag it up to your backup drive. And depending upon the size of your library, I mean, I have about 100 gigs in my iTunes library. So I can take over three hours. So at this point, you can just walk away and, and let it do its thing, the copy in over to the external drive. So after you do that and after you're done, what you want to do is go back into your preferences and then you want to point it by changing it to the backup drive. You can do that. Now, I don't really do that. Uh, this is kind of like a point of contention with some people. I don't do it at this point because I'm going to show you what I do. So basically, I leave that alone, okay? Okay. But what I do here is I go to advanced. So that last step I did, a lot of people say you can do it. I don't do it, so I recommend you leave it out even though um, I just put it in there because that's what some people like to do. Consolidate your library here. It's in the advanced tab up in your menu bar. Consolidate your library, and then that may take a little while, not too long, not anywhere near as long as copying everything over to the external, so don't worry about that. Now what you do is close iTunes. Now here's what I do. I open up iTunes, but before I open it up and click on it, you, if you're a Mac user, you hold down the option key on your keyboard. It's right below the shift and uh, right next to the command on the left. So if you're at your space bar, you go two over to the left. It's the alt option key. Hold that down and then click. And see, it brings up a cool little message where I can choose my iTunes library and what I choose to do is I can choose the, the external drive, which is right there. And that's where my iTunes and everything else will go to from that point on. Now, obviously, what you have to do is actually keep the external drive plugged in. If you don't keep the external drive plugged in, then the iTunes isn't going to recognize where you're trying to point it towards. So be mindful to keep that external drive plugged in at all times. So... That's about it. So for all you, especially all you MacBook, MacBook Air owners, especially with the 64 gig SSD drive, you would uh, be served well to use this little trick. External hard drives are very cheap. And I got a 320 gig external at Costco for $130. So they keep coming down in price. You can get a really good portable one or an even better deal on a desktop external. This is Michael Manner for the T4 Show. Thank you and best of luck in all your future endeavors.